Namaste beautiful souls. Hope everyone is having a great Mindful Monday and you had a great weekend. We are doing pick a card from your romance angels. So if you can close your eyes, take a deep inhale, breathing in the breath of God, exhaling, inhaling through your crown chakra, dropping in your shoulders, releasing the stress and the anxiety. Inhaling again, dropping in your heart. Calling forward, activating your divinity. Flame of love. Feeling a pink, unconditional flame in your heart. Extending that six feet from your heart. Inhale again into your heart. Activating your divine flame for truth, which is a blue flame. Extending that to your heart into your aura, six feet. Inhaling for the third flame of divine empowerment, a golden flame into your heart. You're now seeing all three flames dancing in your heart. Extending this flame into your aura and feeling yourself bathed in a beautiful cocoon of divine love, divine truth, and divine empowerment. Calling forward Saint Germain in the violet flame, burning off fear, anger, hurt, transmuting into love, burning off karma. Calling forward the angelics, Archangel Raphael to the east, healing our body, mind, and soul. Michael to the south, shielding, clearing, cutting cords. Archangel Gabriel to the west, God's messenger, channel for divine truth in our throat chakra. Archangel Uriel to the north for forgiveness, compassion, bringing in that miracle in the 11th hour. Sandalfin grounds us from below to Mother Gaia. Archangel Metatron from above, bringing us the God self, the Buddha consciousness, the Christ consciousness. Breathing into our heart, calling forward our Son and Masters, our Spirit Guides and Angels. Declaring this our sacred space, and we are protected on all four corners of the universe. And so it is. All right. So if you guys would love to just inhale, breathing into pile one, pile two, pile three. And um, you can follow me on Patreon right now. Um, I can't believe like, patreon.com, Sonia Prado Leskis, to join our tribe. I am doing love letters from your crush, your soulmate, your twin flame. And my courses have started Awaken Your Intuition. And she talks to angels, and you can too, helping you like talk to angels. All right, let's begin. Pile number one, 317. All right, the romance angels want you to know that. Whatever lessons you're going into right now, you're needing to forgive yourself and learn the lesson. I feel that you and your person, um, there's been a great separation and something just recently was revealed either to you or to your person and somebody, it's there's a little off balance right now that I'm feeling and this person is really sad. There's a lot of remorse here that someone isn't learning the lessons. Thank you, angels. You're recovering. You're in a state of recovery. There's some kind of shock. There's a lot of remorse. Can, you can see this person has very sad, very sadness. Rejection. This rejection is actually divine protect, protection. So somebody here either protect, rejected or you were, you rejected a person you were, or you were, re sorry, one of you rejected. Um, denial. There's some denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. So someone isn't seeing the truth for what it is, or I feel that somebody denied their emotions. Decide if you want to be in it for the long haul. For, I feel that some of you are being wishy-washy. There is a great fire that's ignited. There is a lot of passion with pile number one. This is a time to forgive, but first when we forgive others, we have to forgive ourselves first, is what your romance angels are saying. And deep feelings. Um, oh my gosh, I'm hearing that BG song. In her eyes, in the morning light. So I don't know if that applies to you guys. 
great turn. Now we hear songs. I have divine unconditional love for you. So you're, the romance are saying your person loves you very much. I don't think that love is the factor here. I think it's deeper than because it started off with the romance with the re, remorse, denial, and rejection. Your person right now is um, a little ice cold. Gosh, now I'm hearing ice, ice baby. Is a little guarded, or you may be guarded. I, this is from your romance angels. So somebody in this relationship is guarded. They are coming in as, there's a lot of passion. They're coming in as, this is like the king, the knight of wands. So there is maybe some, like, Casanova, where this person wasn't really emotionally available. They do want to come from with a, a peace offering. I'm going to see the, so, pile number one, I feel like you're at a fork in the road and you're having to choose. Is that the llama? So cute. Your angels are asking you to decide what serves your higher self and Choose you. Like, choose what makes you happy. So somebody here is like the silent observer. Either you're stalking your person. I don't like the word stalking. Stalking so harsh. You're either observing your person on social media or they're observing you. It's, um, it doesn't really do good, like, to, I, I've had some clients that they keep going on their person's Facebook and they're making all these assumptions of the other person. So I wouldn't go on to observe your person. I would just hold space for your person is, is what I'm hearing. Don't make assumptions after of what you see on social media. And Paolo, I know you are so blessed. The, this union is being divinely protected by your Ankylis, angels. I'm talking Spanish. There's a lot of, you've gone through a lot, pile number one. There's a lot of trials and tribulations. If you can come from a place of gratitude for the lessons, that's going to be a lot more helpful. Helpful, Casanova. So somebody in here in the past was a Casanova. Um, you are now wanting to come forward to sweep your person off their feet. That's what I'm hearing. So this is your lover. This is the lover's card. This is, you know, soulmate, twin flame. This is the one. Knight of Swords, some of you perhaps, Knight of Swords comes off sometimes like it's running away from the truth. And if you can get out of your headspace, pile number one, I feel that you you want to come forward. You've been doing a lot of reminiscing about the past, about family life with your person. For some of you, you're dreaming about your person I feel like this is like a past lifetime is what they're showing me. And you do have, you're looking for loyalty, pile number one. But I feel that you really need to decide on what you want. Um, like there wasn't a take action, but I feel like there's a lot of in and out, in and out. So you need to decide and um I just keep hearing, like, take action. Mastery of self-love has been obtained in preparation for union. So part of your lesson, pile number one, is to master self-love, is to love yourself enough to choose you. For some of you, there was karmic lessons that you had to learn, and I feel that you kind of were derailed because they're showing me a choose you train. Um, so you were derailed a little bit, pile number one. Blessing in disguise. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayers. You'll understand the reasons behind your, your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to assure, to answer your prayers in the best way. So some of you are struggling and you're like, why me? Why is this happening? Why? What's taking so long? And we can't really rush the outcome because it's all divine timing. Release and surrender. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held on tightly 
crippled with your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. So calling on your angels and release and surrender. I feel that some of you are holding on too tightly to the outcome. And when we hold on too tightly, it ends up pushing it away. So I hope that resonates. Pile number one. So pile number two. Thank you, angels. Pile number two, there is some codependency that may de be delaying this union from coming forward. Um, I feel like one of your soul lessons is to learn how to be codependent. So codependency is the need for you to be... For some of you, if you're in a karmic situation and you're too codependent on the karmic, that is codependency. There is no codependency on the enlightenment journey. There's no codependency on your spiritual awakening. Codependency is a lower vibration that will delay or push out your union. So once you heal from codependency, and also they're saying codependency um, addictions. So an addiction to smoking, not smoke, smoking isn't, unless you're like smoking 10 packs a day. An addiction is excessive right so if you're excessively doing something what's that little thing called vaping vaping smoking anything where it's excessive and you cannot stop um yeah th this is just this your romance angels are saying is delaying the the outcome and for some of you you're codependent on somebody who is very you're codependent on a karmic who is very um, the ice queen who's very um, it's almost like your person there's no gender again your person has they're just showing me the um, the ice queen your karmic is very cold and frigid and you're still attached to the karmic so part of the lesson here was for you to learn the lesson of codependency Understanding pile number two, you are being divinely protected, you and the union, and you're, you're completing karmic lessons, pile number two. So what's delaying? So this, the codependency, this karmic, this karmic is part of your karmic lesson that you need to let go of. And when, again, when we hold on too tightly, um, I've heard some of my clients say that they're afraid to let go of the, the person, the karmic or the twin, because they're afraid they're never going to come back. So being afraid of something causes a lower vibration. So you have to be comfortable. You have to love yourself enough. When someone is not treating you well, you have to love yourself enough to know when to walk away. So some of you are wanting to walk away, and your romance angels are asking you to reconsider. There is a lot of romance in this union assert yourself so some of you are needing to walk away from the karmic assert yourself to walk away and children are involved so this could be inner child healing inner child wounds you may have children your person may have children so some of you there's yeah some healing, some inner child healing going on there. Um, you're getting the children again. So some of you could be acting very childish. Some of you, um, there could be a pregnancy involved. There's a, That's for some. So your person is pregnant. This union involves a blonde, so you or your person could be blonde, or your karmic could be blonde. Um, there's a lot of gossip going on on this in in your union. So you might be talking, well, because it's coming upside down, you may be walking away from gossip with this blonde person. I feel that this person has been feeding you there's a brunette involved, and the blonde has been feeding incorrect information. Somebody is giving incorrect information, is what I'm hearing. And you're cutting something out. So you're walking away from something. And pile number two, the masculine in this pile number two is exhausted. He is just beat up. He wants to come forward with the offer of love, either with an apology, ace, a new beginning with love, 
just exhausted. He doesn't even know which way to go. Like he, this guy's lost his shoes. His shirt is all, he's just literally exhausted, exhausted, exhausted. Yeah, so I feel that some of you are balancing out your divine feminine energy. Angels are asking you to have very high standards and boundaries. So when someone is not treating you right, you need to walk away. You need to cut it out and set standards and boundaries. Violet or blue, there's a lot of loyalty. Your person here in pile two has been very loyal to you, pile number two. When the stars are in alignment, you'll have a favorable outcome. And we do have, we have five planets stationed in Aquarius. I can't name them all. I know stars, stars, the sun, moon, I think Venus. I can't remember the other two, but they're, you can look them up. They're in Aquarius and we're closing out Mercury and retrograde and we're going to be going into the 222 portal. Oh my gosh, children. We have three cards for children. So this is a really strong message. Either somebody is pregnant, somebody is being childish, or there is inner child healing. So that's three cards for children. So children are really affecting. So pile number two, ask yourself, am I being childish? Am I? Have I really healed all my inner child wounds? Um, for some of you, does it really affect my children that much? So if your children are grown up, is this union really going to affect your children that much? So do what makes you happy. Um, for some of you, somebody in particular, they're married. They're wanting to walk away from their children, their wife, to come forward to their twin flame is what I'm hearing. You have to do what's best for you. But it's something you have to sit and contemplate and you have to really meditate is what is the guidance I'm hearing for you. So you're being guided to trust your intuition. The high priestess is somebody who just uses their intuition, bringing in more balance, being open to receiving and giving and walking away from whatever is um, blocking you, obstacles. It's almost like... Some of you are so guarded and you're so protected that it's like you keep falling down and you're almost there, but you keep falling down. So you're very guarded and there's a lot of obstacles. 666, step into your in inner child. Step into your inner child as a way of addressing old wounds and restoring a sense of wonderment. So pile number two, you may need to do some deep inner child healing because that, that's four with your inner child, with, it, with children. Children are an important part of this partnership. Healing your inner child, children involved. So there is some inner child healing for pile number two. 188, what kind of energy are you holding on to? What twin absorbs? So what you're... What you're feeling, you're projecting that onto your person, pile number two. Clean it up. So clean up what is no longer serving you. Some of you really need to walk away from, there's a heaviness or a toxicity, like uh, they're showing me like the poison sign. So some of you are like in a very, for some of you, your friends are actually telling you like you're getting wrong advice. Like somebody is a little, one of your friends is a little narcissistic and they're just telling you to walk away. They're not giving you the best advice is what I'm hearing. So clean up, clean up the, your mind because you're too much in your head space and clean up your space inside you and clean up the people that, you have to ask yourself, pile number two, is this person really serving my higher self? Are the people around me serving my higher self? That's the message I'm getting like really loud and clear for you. And a leg up. So you're being guided to take a higher perspective. Ask your friends for help because I feel like you're trying to do this all yourself. Some of you are coming off a little frigid where you're emotionally unavailable and your angels are saying ask for help. 
Notice the signs. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. So some of you are feeling very lonely. Again, if you're if you're allowing this union to really make you sick, to really beat you up, then it's time to take a break, like to surrender it. I feel that, I think you did get surrender before. We can't really, the twin flame journey should, it's the twin flame journey is not a romantic, I know you guys have heard me say that, it's not a romantic love affair, it's it's triggering your spiritual awakening, it's, it's triggering your enlightenment path. So it should not be this painful, so you may need to talk to your person. You may need to talk things out. Come forward to clear this space. Because I feel like there's you have a lot of heavy burdens, pile number two. And I'm getting ringing in my ears. So ringing is your angels and guides giving you guidance. So you may be getting ringing in your ears too. I'm getting some downloads. So some of you are... It's time for you to put your burdens down. And it's time for you to choose you to honor you on this journey. And you are not alone. You are being divinely protected, divinely supported by your angels. Acceptance. See yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone in their highest potential. So it's it's time to take a, like a bird's eye view. Ask your angels for support and really come from a place of unconditional love. Pile number two. So I hope that resonated. Angels message from your romance angels. And then pile number three. All right, pile number three, there's some deception. I feel for some of you there is a third party. Um, somebody, everybody's wearing masks. So this is usually like the third party, and a third party could be work, like addicted to work, addictions. There's some kind of deception that someone isn't revealing. And the angels are trying to pull the mask off of this person so that this person can come into their truth. So somebody might be deceiving themselves. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So ask yourself, is it you or is it your person? And this guy is actually pushing the Divine Feminine out of the way. Like this person has a, a control or some magnetic attraction to that person. Be assertive. Be assertive and decide whether to walk away from that third party. And that's not for everybody. Third party can be work, ego. For some of you asking a question, your angels are saying no. So please take how that resonates with your intuition. This person, this is a true gem, and I feel that they're like the light in your darkness. This person has been helped. This person has helped you open up your crown chakra because I I feel it here, and purple is usually your crown chakra. So this person has really impacted your life. Pound number three and. Like they're a beacon of hope, a beacon of light for you. You do have a past life that you share with this person. My friends are telling me to walk away. So some of you are, this is similar to with pile number two, some of you are listening to the wrong people. Um, like I, I get a headache. Some of your, and, and take what it resonates, like I wouldn't, talk to my friends, I would talk to my angels and meditate on it and feel in your heart what you're supposed to do. It's time to set very firm boundaries right now with your friends, with, if you're in a third party, sorry. And for those of you asking, this is a twin flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. Some of you may be taking a trip or you're planning on taking a trip. Somebody is very empathic, so they are feeling a lot of energy from one, you may be sending telepathic energies to your person or you're feeling your person. Your relationship is going to improve. But I, I also feel that this starts with you. You need to re improve your relationship from within you and improve relationships. For some of you, you may be having um, people around you that are not serving your higher self. 
So some of you, karma, like justice is being served. Some of you could be in this pile going through a divorce, child support. There's some kind of legalities affecting this union. The privileged lady. So I feel like for some of you, this could be a third party. This You treat your person like she's the privileged one. You're coming in as the mature man. So you have... You have changed pile number three. It's almost like you're gaining, reading books, watching YouTube. You have a mentor. There's, you're gaining a lot of clarity, pile number three. And fave is, fave, five is removing obstacles, like change is coming in. Some of you travel for work. Your love is transfer transforming. Fire and my soul. They, they this you view this person as your inspiration. Eighteen eighteen. Focus on what you want rather than what you fear. A balanced mind is required as, at this time. So, I feel that pile number three. You may be one who gets a little too much in their mind, and you have to second guess. You ask your friends like, should I? Well, what do you think? Like, should I? And you're placing too much. Again, this union is about using your intuition to guide you on this journey. It's not about asking everybody else. So it doesn't matter who you're asking. You should be asking the divine and your angels and trusting in your intuition. If you're wanting the happy family and you are wanting to come forward with a love offer, some of you like with roses, candy, I feel some of you had... Some of you had a romantic offer planned, but then you didn't follow through on it. Justice is being restored, so balance is coming. Karma, so whatever karma you gave to your person, the law of karma says, then that comes back to you. So whatever karma we give or giving out, Karma, that's the karma we're, we're done receiving in return. So chop wood. So you view this as very hard. This love is very hard for you. You are going to have to chop certain, certain people out of your life. You have to, when you're cutting a tree down, sometimes you have to like cut out certain pieces like some pieces when you're burning fire for firewood you can't use all the pieces so you're being asked to identify what wood you're going to once you chop the wood who you're cutting out and what you're going to keep and clean clean up i'm hurting like clean up the mess because there's a bucket time to go so it's time for you to walk away from if this is a third party because we started, right, we started this with deception. So it's time to let go of deception. It's time to walk away from either lying to yourself, lying to the other person. It's time to let go of the addictions, the codependent. It, there's, there's a lot going on here, Pile 3, that you just need to let go. And this union is faded. So the divine, your angels have faded this union. And our last counter in pile number three, ask. Ask us to help you in this situation, and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. You're governed by many universal laws, and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. So your angels are asking you, the romance angels, and your angels are asking you to help, ask them, right? Instead of going to your friends, ask your angels, your spirit guides, the and masters, um, for some of you, like a mom, grandmother is coming in, and you're you're somebody who is, like some of you are mediums. Some of you are, like I'm getting like a chill on my, um, a tingle on my crown chakra. Your guides are surrounded by you, like, but you're not listening to them. So really, when you're meditating, set the intention of what you want to find out and lean on your spirit guides, ascended masters, and, and angels. So that's all I have, pile number three. I hope this helps. I hope it resonated. Please like, share, subscribe. 
Follow me on patreon.com Sonia Prado Leskas to join our tribe. And uh, I'm doing love letters in case you missed it for who is your crush, who is your twin flame, who is your soulmate. And um, I'm teaching She Talks to Angels You Can Too and Awaken Your Intuition. And I'm available for angel and love readings. So I'm sending you guys so much love and namaste. Bye, guys.